Hey guys, Starbucks just hired a new CEO. He's a proven turnaround expert. So the question is, is he going to be the spark that reignites Starbucks fading flame? Or is the coffee giant facing a challenge too steep to overcome? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Let's jump into it. So first of all, let me just set up what's going on here. Starbucks is making a big move to fix its brand because right now Starbucks is suffering, struggling. They got issues. We're going to talk about it. They're going to fix it by hiring a new CEO. August 13th, yesterday, Starbucks announced that Brian Nickel would be the new CEO. Nickel used to be the CEO of Chipotle Mexican Grill, and now he's taking over at Starbucks. The news made Starbucks stock price go up right after they made the announcement, and what it did is it showed that investors are excited about the change. They are thinking something has to change because Starbucks is definitely not in its glory days. It definitely passes golden years. So what is happening? Well, here's the recent problems, guys. Starbucks stock dropped, their stock dropped about 40% from its highest point in 2021. That's a huge, huge collapse. Now, I know we've got economic issues and everything else, but this is more than what should have happened. So this is a combination of economic issues and operational problems. The drop is mainly because of how the company has been managed. Now, Howard Schultz, former CEO, he stepped down back in September 2023 because he was worried about the company's direction. Well, turns out that he was kind of right. Starbucks has been losing customers, especially here in the United States. The U.S. sales were down about 7% in the second quarter and 6% in the third quarter of 2024. Schultz criticized the management for not being able to find and fix the company's issues. You got to do that, guys. If you're that size of a company and you got problems, You've got to be able to pour the money into it to spend the time to find and fix the issues that are plaguing your company. You cannot put this off. So what's their solution? Starbucks hires Brian Nickel. They made the bold decision um, if for, for Brian Nickel. He's known, this, he's known for fixing struggling companies. That's what Brian Nickel does. So Nickel was previously CEO of Chipotle where he made a lot of big improvements. He became CEO of Chipotle back in 2018 after the company's founder stepped down. Under Nickel, Chipotle improved its operations, which helped stop the health issues at the restaurants. You remember, Chipotle was constantly getting blasted because they kept finding like salmonella in the lettuce. Right? Well, Nickel's the one that finally came in and said, hey, this is an operations issue. This isn't just because the lettuce is bad. Right? We can fix this. We need to put some quality control in there. Chipotle's profits increased a lot. Profit margins growing from 4% in 2017 to over 14% in 2024 under Brian Nickel. So what's Starbucks hoping? Starbucks is hoping the Nickel can solve its problems just like he did over at Chipotle. Now, let's compare the challenges. Starbucks is dealing with tough market conditions, right? Chipotle's was completely internal problems when Nickel joined. So this is going to be a little bit bigger challenge for Nickel because he's not just fixing operations issues, but he's trying to do it in an economic climate that is all over the place, very volatile. Many fast food restaurants like McDonald's are offering more discounts to attract customers. That's the big thing right now. The $5 meal is back at all these different restaurants and that's how they're bringing customers back in. Well, Starbucks is struggling to show customers that its products are worth the price. Now that one cup of coffee at Starbucks costs more than these value meals at these restaurants like McDonald's. The board of directors at Starbucks likely didn't agree with former CEO Nara Siham's uh, strategy where he was offering discounts to attract customers. So apparently that didn't work. What's next now that Nickel is behind the wheel? 
Well, Nickel might actually help Starbucks keep its reputation as a premium, high quality brand. I fully expect him to try to retain that image because he did the same thing at Chipotle. Chipotle didn't sacrifice quality. Chipotle didn't come down to the lower level, right? They stayed a premium brand, they just fixed the operations issues. Chipotle kept its prices high without offering discounts, which Starbucks might try to do too now that Nichols in charge. Starbucks does have some operational issues though. They have some operational problems that need to be fixed right away. And I'm hoping that when Nickel gets into the driver's seat, that's the first thing he's gonna do because that's what he's good at, is get in there and fix the operational issues at Starbucks. About 60% guys of Starbucks business comes from its 34 million rewards customers. 60% comes from people that have subscribed to the rewards program. These are loyal customers right, 60%. In the second quarter, many customers didn't even pick up their orders because of the long wait times. They're trying to get to work and they're sitting in line for 15, 20, 30 minutes. And they finally just have to leave and go and can't even pick up their order because it's taking so long to get people through the drive through Maybe look at Chick-fil-A. And mistakes with their orders. Come on guys, you cannot. This is operational issues. Customers simply wouldn't even take it because there was a mistake with the order and they didn't have time to wait for them to fix it. Fixing these issues can help Starbucks regain its strong brand image and keep its customers happy. So, first priority for Nickel, fix the operational issues and the problems at Starbucks, especially those that are affecting their loyal customers. So investors, customers, watch how Starbucks does in the next few months and let's see if Nickel can bring some positive change. All right guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know where you get your coffee because personally, I'm kind of disillusioned with Starbucks right now. Excited to see where they're gonna go. I'm a Dutch bros bro and I'm not invested in the company. If you do wanna see what stocks I am investing in, subscribe to the channel, guys, because I make videos every single week on stocks that I am buying. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch y'all in another video tomorrow. Peace.